happy easter on easter we contemplate the victorious bridegroom's arrival to meet his bride as prophesied in psalm 45 in this video i want to connect psalm 45 verse 8 with the burial and resurrection of jesus has found in the gospel of john what is psalm 45 all about psalm 45 is a song celebrating the marriage of a king it describes the king as magnificent wise and righteous and his bride as beautiful the king is shown as victorious and his bride is called to unite with him in marriage the song concludes by inviting the people to praise the king for his eternal reign and glory the early church fathers interpreted this psalm as referring to the risen lord coming to meet his bride the church what does psalm 45 verse 8 say psalm 45 verse 8 states all your garments smell of myrrh aloes and cassia basically the psalmist is pointing to the fragrance of the garments of the bridegroom coming to meet his bride this verse therefore interpreted in the light of the early church fathers means that the garment of the risen lord emanated the fragrance of myrrh and aloes what are aloes and myrrh aloes a rare spice extracted from tree was one of the spices used for jesus burial despite its bitter taste aloes yield a strong pleasant fragrance myrrh an aromatic spice from a small thorny tree is collected by wounding the tree to extract the sap which turns into fragrant resin how are aloes and myrrh related to the passion of jesus highly valued in ancient times myrrh is mentioned at the birth and burial of jesus it was presented to baby jesus by the wise men that came to worship him on the cross Jesus was offered wine mixed with myrrh. At Jesus' death, his body was wrapped in linen strips along with myrrh and aloes. So, myrrh is seen as a constant element in Jesus' birth, suffering and death. Isaiah 53 verse 5 declares, "By his wounds we are healed." Like myrrh is extracted only after wounding the tree, the body of Jesus had to be wounded by the scourges the thorns and the nails so that his blood could cleanse and heal humanity during jesus burial nicodemus and joseph of arimathea used aloes and myrrh as the jews would usually do to prevent the odor of the decaying body both spices being bitter yet aromatic point to the passion of jesus which was bitterly painful yet salvific to humanity so what can we conclude since jesus body was wrapped with myrrh and aloes within a linen we could very well imagine that his garments at his resurrection would be fragrant with the aroma of these spices jesus our risen lord is a divine bridegroom and the church is his bride on this easter day he comes to us risen from the tomb fragrant with aloes and myrrh and this is very significant the risen lord does not do away with the marks of his suffering his wounds are still there on his body and so is the scent of the burial spices these are reminders to the disciples of his passion the fragrance of myrrh and aloes symbols of death and burial are a reminder that Jesus victory over evil comes only to the bitter way of the cross and his resurrection was possible only because he gave himself up to death the scent of aloes and myrrh of the risen christ was another reminder when the disciples laid his body in the tomb he was treated like any mortal man he was wrapped with burial spices because his body was expected to decay the fact that the lord rose from the dead tells us that he is god and that the scent of the risen christ would remind the disciples of how they thought that they had lost him 
when myrrh and aloes were wrapped along with the body of Jesus, they were a symbol of despair, that all was over. When the risen Christ bears the scent of aloes and myrrh, it becomes a symbol of hope. And when it comes to God, all is never over. There is always the hope of new life. God bless you and happy Easter.